How's it going, Toy Table fans? Welcome back to the Toy Table. And welcome back to another edition of my flea market finds. You guys may have just watched uh, Ken and I going into the flea market. And, you know, when I'm in there, I just don't really hold the phone. It's, I just feel like it's going to be bad quality. There was a lot of people around, and I have Ken, you know, and he actually kind of wandered off on me as I was hunting the pegs and I had to go looking for him. But, uh, Anyway, so hopefully you watched that and you saw a little bit of a Toys R Us haul that I had there with some cool two packs and stuff. And uh, anyways, so I got quite a few cars here and I got 22 minutes here of video to show you and I've already used a minute. So I will get going through it. <clears throat> we got a lot of cars today. Good stuff too, I think. We got a X-Ray Racers 70 Chevelle. As a new Hot Wheels enthusiast, I can tell people really love Chevelles. There's a lot of 60s Chevelles, 70s Chevelle. Supervolt. Oh, I forgot. This Chevelle is a 2004. As I go through them quickly, this is a 2015 model. Um, I'm newer to collecting, so I kind of really coll start coll started collecting them by just trying to get as many different copyright dates as I could. Sonic Special here, so it's a 1998. Thank you for my newer subscribers to subscribe. It's been awesome to have you aboard. And, you know, the Hot Wheels friends that I have, or YouTube Hot Wheels friends that I have, Salt Racer here. It's a 1996. It's uh, fun to watch your videos, and it's fun to have you guys watch the videos. I hope you guys have as much fun watching them as I do making them and hunting these things down. I got a Chevy Silverado, and I have a question for you guys. Are those kind of faster than ever wheels? Even though it doesn't really say it, are these things fast? Because it could go out to Calgary's race. I think I got a few of those. Looking forward to that race. And I got the red Chevy Silverado. I've basically, these trucks, I've cleaned out the guy's pegs. He sold, he's selling them for a buck. and I got a bunch of trucks the one flea market find. And I go back and they're still there. So I'm going to pick them up. If no one else wants them, I'll take them. So we got a Fiat 500. New to 2014. And speaking of 2014, what I've noticed in my collecting is I can't find any main lines that have 2014 copyright. If you guys could help me out and direct me to finding what cars are in 2014, that'd be fantastic. 2015, 12 Ford Fiesta in the Alpine series, I guess, Snowstorm. So, my nose started running, guys. Just started getting cold here a little bit. You're going to see this Chevy Tahoe a few times today. I got quite a few of them. Just seen from that same guy selling them for a buck. I really wish these were police vehicles, but uh, we still might pretend they're a police vehicle. I, I noticed there that the Ram bar in the picture is black, and it's fully white on the truck. Got a 2015 Ford Mustang GT with Pokemon Tom. You can never have enough Mustangs carted, ready and waiting for him to come back. Got to replenish the Mustang supply. Ah, my nose is running. I don't know if we can get through this here. All right, this one's from copyright date of 2000. It's a Dodge Charger RT. Not sure what the uh, character is on, on the front, like Robin Hood or such. But that one feels heavy and feels fast. Twang thing. And that's from 1995. This one's pretty cool for a fantasy casting. It's got the guitar and it feels like it's a well, plastic bottom, but heavy enough. Not sure whether I already have a twang thing or not, but I got another one. Got a Moto Blade, first edition. There's faster than ever. Huh. 
right? That symbol there is a faster than ever. So that's from 2006, copyright card, first edition. Maybe that could go out there to Calgary. Looking forward to that race because I really wouldn't mind winning all those cars and racing them on my, my track. Maybe I might make that as a suggestion if you guys are listening that kind of the winner sends the cars to one of us that races all these things and race them on our setup and then pass pass on the cars all right so we got another chevy tahoe and another 07 chevy tahoe and another 07 chevy tahoe those are all from 2012 i picked up a couple loose cars so that's why i have the uh, orange here can't couldn't really roll them too well because the tables were so full of cars it's a baseline, and again with those classic wheels there, and it does roll kind of easy. So we'll leave that one there. I <clears throat> when I picked it up, I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna research it before I do the video," but time got on me, and I had to go to work. And here it is, already kind of midnight now, and I'm doing this, and I'm busy tomorrow. And I think this video is gonna come out on Tuesday. So it's probably going to be Tuesday, even though it's Sunday, or Monday morning now, is midnight strikes. We've got a Chrysler Pronto, uh, American flag on it, looks like one of those crossfires, and that's a 2000 as well. Got Hot Wheels Racing, and this is an F Racer, really cool design, I hadn't seen this one before really ever being raced or such and that's from 2004 of a copyright got a track stars and it's a flathead fury and again just those uh those fast wheels that look, they look fast it's got a, maybe that's the track star logo 2006 one reason why I actually like doing these videos of these flea market finds is because I can actually kind of take back and actually have a look at them a little closer again before they kind of go away for a while. Got a dog fighter. Never seen this. Ever. Now I'll see it in a whole bunch of hauls. Guys will get them. And that's from 1995. So that had to pick. My early 90s and my race that I want to set up they're uh, rather light so here's a clutch stepper super huge tires and Mr. Mom's racing and I were talking that his the wide cars go on his middle track there and I wonder whether his middle track's a toy or more something that you know you'd get from Home Depot that's like you know, you know some kind of baseboard or something that you get in really long length without any seams that's from 1994. I rather doubt it's going to fit on the orange, but we're going to give it a shot because I don't think I have any 1994s. I plan on racing all these things against each year and coming up with the fastest from each year and then coming up with the fastest car of 25 years of Hot Wheels. So we got a Hot Wheels All Stars 12, and that's a 09 Ford Focus. Really nice looking car. Nice red on it. If it was on the pegs today, I definitely would have bought it. Alright. Uh, yeah, so we're actually cruising through this. Uh, uh, hall here. Quite nicely. So, that was two vendors. And then my other guy, that he has more of the, the good stuff. Hopefully you've stuck around. I've, I've adopted the the Pontiac GTO as my favorite kind of casting. So I got the 2017 Zomac edition. Probably not my nearly my favorite. If I saw this as a as a my favorite uh, GTO or saw this as a GTO first, I probably would have not have liked it as much as the black one and the Judge. 
nevertheless, pretty cool. Never saw it on the pegs, and definitely would have bought it. Alright, so we got a 67 Camaro, Muscle Mania, classic orange of that era. Big tires, big block, metal base, and that's from 2009. I really wish I started collecting these earlier. Not that I paid a lot more than what they're worth today or selling them today, but you yeah, know. Got a custom 67 Pontiac Firebird. Didn't actually even notice that the hood was missing when I bought it, and that's the way it's supposed to be. I guess that's kind of cool that they exposed the hood. I've always thought when they leave that circle blank, you could just write in your own number. That's a 2015 copyright. Okay, we have an old 442W30. Way too cool. Looks a lot like the Chevelle to me as an amateur. And that's a 1994. I've learned to, like, you know, this Hot Wheels guy, he gets boxes brought to him, and I try to get in there before he gets in there and marks them up. Got another 1994, interesting enough, on a much more tarnished uh, card and a different. Uh, let me just compare these. We have, you know, that one, and we got this one. So this one's a French card, and it's French, all French on the back, except safety tested. Collect them all, no, yeah, it's a Canadian card, and then what's this one? This one's a Canadian card too. Quickly, I don't want to look that over, but they're different. So we got a rigor mortar from 1994. That one's been around for a long time, I didn't realize it was such an old casting. I used a bunch of them in... Uh, my Halloween race as part of the Street Beast team. Oh yeah, this is great. He made an extra four dollars off these off me because these guys bring. I'll show them one at a time. But guys bring cars and they sell them. I, oh, this one's. Uh, they've been all opened. I didn't realize they've been opened. Some of them. Well, that's cool. He bought them all for two bucks and I bought them all off me for for four. So we got the tricks car. Wait on. I don't mind that. Fireman food. This one's for you. I told you I'd hunt these things down. He had his live casting and he had these on his pedestal there, showing them off. And I told him, I'll find those. And I did. Tricks car. Oh. It's narrow though. So it bumped in, but. Way too cool. What even? What kind of car is this? Lincoln Continental, 1964, serial crushers. Damn. Welcome to the team. Let's leave that guy there. Maybe my random Lucky Charms. Whoops. What year are these from? 2003. Let's see this one. Whoever these were, they took them out of the package, but they definitely made sure that they would stay in there. They probably not race too much. Again, a little narrow. Alright, and then... Oh, this one's sealed. We got the Cocoa Puffs car. And that's a Pontiac GT. Oh! This could go out out west. It could it could just go out there. There's the hood. Sixty seven Pontiac GTO Coco Puffs car. That's hilarious. I didn't even realize that. I didn't even really look at them. I the guy said you want them and I said yeah. And then we have the honey nut Cheerios car. And that's a Plymouth GTX 71. So coming down to the end, I got 
the orange out for a reason. Get a few loose ones. And perhaps the next race here could be all these tuned cars I got that are all in really nice shape actually. Didn't really roll them and I could tell they just hadn't been stepped on or anything and it's up to whether they survived the package or not. So we got the 68 uh, Mustang. Maybe this track's just wider. I don't know. They don't seem to be rolling too well. But that one's really cool. Got the Judge. It's these side pipes that really slow this one down. It's the side pipes that slow them down. So these ones aren't racers, but 67 Camaro. Yeah, see this one's raised more. So right on, you live, you learn. This looks like another Camaro. 69 Camaro. Maybe I read this wrong. 69 Camaro is the yellow too. Woo! Uh, we'll stay with the tune. Picked up another one of these. 69 Camaro. There's your comparison race right there. And yep, guess what? We got the 1968 Mustang. Where the drags. They're not fitting on the seam here. Dodge Daytona. That one rolls really nice. And then we got the Chevy Impala, kind of a uh, stock car edition. Wouldn't mind get one of these carded so I can go against one of the new Mopar uh, NASCARs. That'd be kind of cool, cool race. Well, guys, I think that was oh one more HWPD Corvette, nice red wheels. And it has just that light sound when it rolls. Not my favorite sound to a car. Anyways, guys, this is might be one of the front runners to head out to Calgary as one of my two cars. Now that I see it's a GTO and it's a funny car. It's not a funny car, but a, a joke car. Anyways, guys, thanks again for watching the toy table. That was a pretty epic uh, flea market haul, I think. Got a lot of good stuff in this week. Got, got some uh, early 90s stuff for that race. And probably filled out some of the brackets of the years I probably didn't need. I'm not sure how many cars I'm going to race in each uh, series. But I, want, I really want to get that started probably even next week. So then I can stop buying uh, old carded cars and just actually start this project. Anyways, uh, also another announcement. I'm going to do a kind of a interesting video to hopefully drive me to 500 uh, subscribers I'd like to do that kind of soon and more maybe in line with the end of uh, the next series the quarter century uh, of Hot Wheels race tournament I want to do and then get into the next thing and uh, it'll be kind of a funny video anyways guys thanks again for watching stay tuned uh, this week I gotta do a pretty neat video for uh, uh, Hot Wheels. Uh, I can never get their channel right. Hot Wheels stuff and more, or more Hot Wheels stuff. I'm just terrible with shout outs, especially just when I think of them off the cusp. Anyways, they had a really funny uh, video where they had just literally a booster and one loop, and I said I would do mine with the the, the double loop booster. Anyways, guys, thanks again for watching the Toy Table. Thanks again for su subscribing. If you have lasted through this amount of die-cast jargon, you are truly a die-cast die junkie like I seem to be. But I'm looking forward to racing all these things. And Fireman Food. I like hunting things down, too. I, uh, you show me things. I watch your, your videos, and they... See things you have, and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to find those. 
Anyways, thanks again for watching. Take care, everybody.